what really works to keep those bugs away. We are getting you ready for winter with seven on your side troubleshooter Horace Holmes and a look at which cold remedies actually work, Horace. Well, all of us. I'm sure you guys have your own remedies. What do you use? Lemon water. Uh, lemon water. Lemon yeah. water. <laughs> Lots of sanitizer for <laughs> me, <laughs> Horace. <laughs> all right. You can pick something up from the local drugstore. Okay. You can go with lemon water or you can up it by your own concoction. Let's see what's worth it. Bless you and bless us all because cold and flu season is just about to begin. <laughs> Walk down the aisle of any drugstore and the shelves are packed with medicine to help blast the bug. I'm a big proponent of medicine and DayQuil yeah. and NyQuil especially. And you can drop a pretty penny on all this, but is any of it a magic bullet to either keep you healthy or keep a cold? Away? I'm Dr. Rohit Modak and I'm an infectious diseases physician. And he's not against using any of your favorite cold medicines to help you manage the symptoms of a cold or flu, but the best remedy? So there's certain things people can do to get better faster. Get plenty of rest. I can't stress that enough. When your body is well rested, your immune system works better. Drink plenty of fluids. That helps you fight infections. That's because both the cold and flu are viruses. Once they catch you, there's no way to get rid of them quickly. And besides keeping your hands clean, the only real way to keep the flu away is by taking a flu shot. Nevertheless, all of us seem to have a remedy we swear is effective. Chicken noodle soup, tea, crackers, and ginger ale. What does the doctor say? It works. There's something about it. It's magic. It works. All these little things, take a little bit of honey. These things will help you get better quicker. But really, it's going to be time. Time is your friend. See, Nancy, lemongrass works. Some lemon water, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's something else, I guess. And the best way to keep from getting sick, according to doctors, is lots of hand washing. Jessup, there you go. Cold germs can live a fairly long time on surfaces all of us touch throughout the day. Before you put your hands to your mouth or before you eat, wash those things. Tomorrow, we're taking a look at uh, helping your four-legged friends stay warm this winter. Find out if those little doggy boots are worth it right here on Good Morning Washington. Looking forward to that, Horace. Thank you. And if you